1980s, the Mayor of Ross had the idea of putting up blue plaques around the town to light up the world of history. In 2013, children at our school were inspired by the idea of the blue plaques and this is their story. about the history of Ross. History isn't boring. Who are you? My name is Reference Price. I bet you didn't know the play came to Ross and why. In 1637, 30 years before the Great Plague, fleas found in sheep's wool caused the plague to be started from the warehouse in Copps Cross Street. The hot summer meant the infection spread quite quickly. Everyone that could leave left Ross. We could only get food that was left on one side of the Wilton Bridge. I stopped the plague together with the people of Ross. We chanted prayers for our saviour. 315 people died and were buried in St. Mary's Churchyard. A cross marks where this happened. And that was the end of the story of the play that came to Ross and Wye. Wow, history isn't boring when somebody exciting tells it. No. What's that book you have there? Oh, I've got it from my teacher. I have to do some homework about King George the Fourth. Can we see a picture? <laughs> I'm King George to tell you about my stay in Ross and Roy. One was travelling from Ireland after meeting our subjects there. Our horses were very tired, so my people changed them at the Swan and Falcon Inn. After eating breakfast, we set off again for London. A disaster occurred on Gloucester Road. A cart had shed its wheel and blocked our path. This is the exact spot where King George got stuck. One had to stay the night at a disgusting inn. Oh, that tail's terrible. I know. You should really get these roads sorted. Oh, I'm going to... That cart? I'm quite sure to sort it out. And that's my story.